Next, notice that we've included a starfish on Pamelin's desk. The starfish has five points, which should help you remember that factor five is necessary for the growth of H flu. Factor five is also known as nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, or NAD. So starfish with five points for factor five. Finally, notice that we've added a sign on our desk that says 10 rules of the office. Some people in this office space are pretty OCD, so they like to hang up signs about specific rules and regulations. The 10 rules sign is here to help you remember that factor 10 is also required for the growth of H flu. Factor 10 is also known as hematin, so 10 rules sign for factor 10. Okay, let's introduce the OCD person who put this sign up. If we zoom back out, you can see that we've also shown this character named Dwayne that seems pretty upset. He's mad because James put his stapler in some jello, even though Dwayne specifically put a sign up on his desk that says, please respect property. Pretty funny prank if you ask me. Anyway, the please respect property sign should help you remember polyribosylribatyl phosphate, or PRP, because the first letters of each word in the phrase, please respect property, makes the abbreviation PRP. Additionally, the stapler is completely surrounded by jello, just like a capsule completely surrounds a bacterium. So think of the jello as a symbol for a capsule. So putting all of this together should help you remember that encapsulated strains of H flu have a polyribosylribatyl phosphate. In addition to the please respect property sign, notice that Duane has also neatly placed a strip of tape that divides James's side of the office from Duane's side of the office. As you can tell, he's pretty OCD about his stuff. The tape separating the two sides of the image is here to help you compartmentalize the typable and non-typable strains of H flu. As we just discussed, typable strains produce a capsule, which is represented in this image by the jello. Therefore, all of the characters and information to the left of the tape on the same side as the jello will represent information about the typable strains. Likewise, everything to the right of the tape where there is no jello will represent information about the non-typable strains. Finally, notice that the tape can no longer be seen right as it goes up next to Pamelin's desk right here. So all of the information towards the top of the image that we have already covered is true of both typable and non-typable strains of H flu. Okay, notice that Dwayne is pretty pissed off because he's reaching in his drawer for some weapons. He's probably considering retaliating after the stunt that James just pulled off. If you look closely, you can see that Dwayne has a syringe in his drawer. Just like in our other images, the syringe is in this image to help you remember that there is a vaccine for H flu. More specifically, there is a vaccine for a typable strain of H flu, which is known as H flu type B, or HIB. The vaccine contains the type B capsular polysaccharide, or PRP capsule, and is conjugated to a protein. This composition of the vaccine induces T-cell-dependent memory, which ultimately causes the host to produce antibodies against the PRP.